I work very hard. I've been working six days a week to uh, buy a house for my family, and I did. And so I just feel like as a man, I go to work every day, I bring home the check, you know, I help around the house a little bit, I help out with the kids. Why can't I have sex from my wife? That's my wife, that's the reason why I got married. How often do you say you, you're being denied? Pretty much all the time. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Shishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Are girlfriends better than wives? I don't know. You tell me after this. I work very hard. I've been working six days a week to uh, buy a house for my family, mm -hmm. and I did. And so I just feel like as a man, I go to work every day, I bring home the check, you know, I help around the house a little bit, I help out with the kids. Why can't I have sex from my wife? That's my wife. That's the reason why I got married. How often do you say you, you're being denied? Pretty much all the time. What? Bought a house. Bought a house. Helping take care of your woman. Put a ring on it. And you're being denied the cheeks? Come on. <laughs> Our girlfriends better than wives. Gentlemen, I don't know. You tell me. And how long ago did that start, sir? Uh, about three months ago. Three months ago? Yes. So this is recent? Yes. I'm trying not to laugh because this is funny. It's like, why do I have to have sex with you to do the basic necessity things, things that we need? Yo. What? <laughs> this is why a lot of men don't want to get married. Apart from a, a lot of whole, a bunch of other shit. This is a big reason why a lot of men out here don't want to get married. The biggest, one of the biggest things a man gives up when he wifes a woman, puts a ring on it, is his ability to exercise his options, right? He picks one woman and he's come to the terms, and I'm telling you the truth, no matter how much a man loves you, this is something the men think about. These are the only cheeks I'll be able to bust for the rest of my life. He lets go of the streets and then gets this. I don't like this coffee. This coffee smells like shit. Let's get back into it. The two of you recently bought a home. Yes. yes. And he worked hard to contribute to the two of you buying this home. We both worked hard to contribute. That's what he don't say. Are you denying him, though? Because he said that it's been three months, Miss Miss Mall. What what's going on? Well, if he was to do better, he was actually, trying to butter you up with the appliances. Yeah, what he, he was saying it, it, it don't work because you still got to do more at home. You got to actually want to cook. You got to actually want to clean. Not well, what's your? <laughs> yeah. What the f is this? So let me get this straight. A man is expected to outwork you, right? Because I, I know no matter how much you worked, he outworked you because he's a man. Help you get a house, protect, protect you, right? Put his life on the line. And that's still not enough for modern women today to just let your husband get sex once in a while. That's ridiculous. These are the stories that married men share to single men and warn them before getting married, right? They're in these sexless marriages. And I'll tell you what, this someone's busting those cheeks, right? I wouldn't doubt it. Three months, she's cheating. That's just what I think. Run away, leave. Fast, not slow. This points to a bigger problem of not finding the average man who contributes, right? Even more than she's probably doing for herself. They don't find that valuable unless if you're paying all the bills. Let's get back into it. Let's go to work, take off your boots and come home and sit down and not do nothing. Mm -hmm. That and you expect me to, oh, let's have sex. No, it doesn't work like that. All right, that's it. Um, so him helping her get a house, him putting a ring on it is not enough. It's not enough. And the worst part about the situation is he probably is the breadwinner. So if he left, he would get the short end of the stick in family court, you know, with um, alimony, and also she probably is the main um, caretaker of the children. He'd be paying child support. It's just a f***ed up situation, right? So a girlfriend's better than wives? Yes. The truth is, in most cases, girlfriends are better than wives. Why? Well, because a lot of girlfriends are working towards something, right? 
They're trying to lead with their best foot forward because why? They want the marriage or they want the relationship to last. There's a goal. There's the ring. Once you give them that, a lot of men stop requiring women to live up to a certain standard. You can tell the dynamics in that relationship were all messed up. I'm sensing that she controls the situation. You know, she kind of views him as that more beta male type. When you're dealing with women, no matter the level that you're at, if you give her um, a relationship, know that you have to have requirements for her in the relationship to help you around with your life in general. She's got to cook for you once in a while. She's got to wash dishes, right? She's got to come over, do some laundry. She's got to pick up your meal. You have to have requirements for your woman and you can't waver. And in order for you to elevate her to the next step, as in like, you're just dating, um, she wants to be your girlfriend. The key is before she actually becomes your girlfriend, you say, hey, being in a relationship with me comes with some requirements. First off, you're gonna have to do such and such, right? Be realistic, have her cook for you. She needs to know how to make a sandwich once in a while. I know you women don't like this coffee right now. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> but it's the truth, have requirements. And so she goes into it, she knows that if she doesn't meet those requirements, you're out. Even when it comes to marriage, if you're thinking of marriage, man, you gotta protect yourself as much as possible. Educate yourself, protect yourself. It's not the time to play around with marriage. And after you protect yourself and do what's necessary, a woman needs to know in that marriage that you're not gonna put up with that shit. You're not gonna put up with her denying you and making you work to bust the cheeks. Come on, what the hell is that? She needs to know that. You need to have expectations for her. The fact that she's sitting there saying, oh, he needs to wash and clean. No, you wash and clean. That's your job as a woman. And make sure that that's something that you agreed on beforehand. And if she says, oh no, I don't believe in gender roles. Well, cut, cut her off, dog. Cut her off, move on. Because you're just gonna set yourself up for bigger problems. You need to have expectations. You need to set the bar and the understanding before you um, promote any woman in your life. From a side chick to the main chick. Hey, if you're my main chick, you might have to pick up my mail. Main chick to relationship. That's going to come with a whole lot of work, babe. Be sure you want that. Yeah, you know, I really like where we're going. Okay, cool. Well, you know, um, I need you to cook for me at least like twice a week. You're not just going to be around me benefiting. That's just the way women work, man. They will treat you how you let them right and that's people in general so yeah keep that in mind as always i'm curious to know what you guys thought of the situation comment down below and i appreciate you guys for checking out another episode of the coffee pot till next time man. i'm out peace